Hello, this is a video tutorial. I'd like to talk about widget, how to set up the widget and how to interact uh, with a third person character. So let me play the game. Uh, you can get a brief idea. So here I have a third person character. And if I switch uh, the wheel um, as a keyboard C, I can sw switch the camera to first person camera. And then if I click, I can uh, interact with this widget. Uh, so it has two buttons. Next page, has a video on the next page. Back to the first page. See, I can go back and escape. Okay, so this is how the uh, final result looks like. So I will show you how I set it up step by step. Before I start, I have an uh, old file, old tutorial, I would highly recommend you watch. Uh, this is based on the Unreal Engine 4. It covers the terminologies and the basic workflow to create a 3D widget, uh, 2D widget, kind of like a HUD, uh, overlay to your uh, camera, so it's in a fixed position. So there's a couple of options, uh, so check this out. Uh, but since it's uh, Unreal Engine 4, I think it's better we do Engine 5. Uh, there's something different in this new engine. Um, another quick thing before we start uh, step by step is about the lighting. Um, I definitely find out there's some interesting, uh, maybe it's a bug, maybe it's not, is when I open the default um, lighting environment in Unreal Engine 5, uh, if you use the one, I think the default is called a skylight system, a sunlight system. The widget just looks like a black. I'm not exactly sure why, uh, but check the details. You can see this uh, actor basically is a combination of a skylight, direction light, and the sky atmosphere. Uh, so this is the easy system. If you don't using the sunlight, Sun Sky actor, um, the widget actually gonna show up. Uh, so here you can see it's actually there. Uh, also, if you switch to a light, you can see it's there. It's just some weird light effects um, kind of interfere with the sunlight. So what you can do uh, just to have a quick fix is you can delete uh, the sunlight system, and then you can just add in these three by yourself manually. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. So I will show you really quick. So here I will right click my sun sky system and then I will go ahead delete. Right, it's gone. It's pretty dark but that's okay. So now if you go just drag directional light so this will be the first one and then if you type sky uh, you will see sky atmosphere. I will put it here and also you have the skylight. Right, so if you bring this three manually back, uh, things will just, you know, show up. Um, just make sure in your skylight, uh, you do need to check the real-time capture. Uh, if you don't do it, um, the light will not respond in accurately. Uh, so make sure you have this real-time capture uh, active. For the direction light, uh, this is actually pretty simple. You just need to, you know, rotate the light to show different time of the day. Uh, so it's not as smart as a sky sun sky system, mm -hmm. which you can define the time, location, but this one is not too bad. You can still, you know, uh, control this uh, accurately. And this uh, sky atmosphere, you don't have to do anything. This is supposed to be automatic. Uh, it generates a connection between the, you know, skylight and the sunlight, okay? Yeah, uh, I think this is the manual way you can uh, you can set it up, right? Uh, you will see the result is exactly the same, right? It just don't have that kind of uh, uh, smart time and the you know location settings, uh, but here we can have the full control as well. All right, so that's just some minor things you want to do is replace uh, the sun sky system with these three component skylight sky atmosphere and um, 
and also the directional light. Uh, in fact, in the future, I will probably give another tutorial just talk about the difference between the different sky system. You know, this is the first one, the default Unreal Sky, uh, Sun Sky system. Uh, but what we have done is delete this guy, replace it with this three. But also in the future, if you are doing, let's say, a VR, you probably don't need uh, the volumetric cloud. You can replace with a cheaper version. Uh, so we'll talk about this in another tutorial, not today. Okay, so we have this sky, uh, new sky system. Uh, then I will go ahead to uh, load the widget and then create interactions. So I have these three new menus. Later I'm going to show, uh, probably upload as a zip file so you can download. Let's start with the first one, the menu. In the menu folder, I have two subfolders. Uh, the first one is basically uh, an actor. I, I actually don't need this one. I will delete this. Okay. So the first one is an actor. If I double click, uh, it's basically a 3D actor. This actor has a component called widget. Uh, you can add a widget from here. That's how I did that in the first place. So this widget, I will point to the actual widget class. So here, if I choose search or browse, right, you can see it pointed to this guy. So this is P1 means page one. Uh, it's basically just say, hey, I want to load in this widget. I want this widget class be page one. That's all I need to do. Um, you could tweak about the draw size. You know, this usually is a good way you can match the proportion, the size of your widget. So this is the P1. So P1 is a widget. Uh, the way you create a widget is just right click. You can go to user interface and then you create a widget blueprint. That's how you do it. Uh, I don't repeat here. Is tons of tutorials online. You can follow. Very easy to do. Uh, once you create a widget, basically is like a canvas with a bunch of two dimension elements laid out. Usually there's a border, there's a text, there's a button, there's a text for the button, there's an image on that page. Uh, so everything is like a two dimension um, layout. The only thing you need to really uh, dive into is the button, right? The button contain the script. Uh, so here, if I select the button, you see this button has a script. It's called unpressed. You can click and see the script. Another way you can see the script is just simply click graph in the corner. So both ways will allow you to open the script. So I will do the old-fashioned way, right? So this is the script for the button. Also, you can see it's automatically switched to the graph. You can jump between these two modes. So in that button, it has really simple logic. It's got all actor of class. Uh, so I want to gather the current uh, manual actor, which is this guy, the 3D one. And once it's funded, uh, then we'll say, hey, I want to create a new widget. This widget is a page two. And then I want to set this new widget uh, to replace old one. Uh, so that's how the logic works. Because the second widget, if I show you, here's a P2, right? The second widget, instead of have an image, I have a video. Uh, this is actually a video image, or we call it a video texture. If I search, it's right here. This video texture, uh, you can definitely refer to my old tutorials about how to load a video material, video texture into Unreal. So basically, it is a video uh, I saved under the movies. So if I right click, show you uh, the actual mp4 you see this is mp4 video okay so that has to be into the movies folder important and then in the uh, ui material folder you can see i created a video playback is a source pointed uh, to this movies folder and mp4 file right so that's how this is linked and I have a bunch of other files uh, to control its play. So basically, player will play the media, play the uh, play the video. And this is actually the texture uh, generated, the media texture. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's basically the whole logic here to create this uh, P2 pointed to a video. Again, I will gonna copy you all of these files. You will have them. Okay. 
All right, so back to the P1 logic is loading the P2, right? And also start to play the video. Let's say, hey, I want to gather the media player. I want media player play this media. Media player basically is a variable. Uh, this is a type. Uh, so here C is pointed to media player as a type. Is also pointed to that media TV player, which control the play of the uh, image, uh, the video file. But anyway, if you don't need to do this kind of animated video file, you don't have to worry about this video texture. Just keep in mind, in the second page, you might have something different. The back button, you can see the logic is very similar. If I press, right, this back button will basically uh, go back to the 3D actor. Uh, and then loading that uh, create a new P1 widget and use it to replace the current one. Okay, so that you can go back and forth using these two, uh, P1 and P2. All right, so I will close it. So that's pretty much what you need to do. And here I have some kind of supporting structures. Uh, it's not really a big deal. I will just say maybe do a little bit better material let's see do we have a gray material yeah i was just using the gray base gray okay so here i will copy and here i will go ahead paste okay so you have this new um yeah 3d with a widget on the top so here you see that is the widget looks like Okay, so that's a step number one is you create a widget. Step number two, you have to trigger the widget, right? So this is done actually through uh, the pong, the character. So if I go to the BP girl, if you recall my previous tutorial, I using uh, the blueprint to switch cameras. So now you have two cameras, you can switch from third person camera to first person camera using the C on the keyboard, right? So that's how it's done. Um, I don't repeat. And here I wanted to add a new one, it's called widget interaction. So this one will allow you to simulate a mouse click. If you click, you know, mouse, left click, you are able to trigger the widget interaction. The widget interaction is a new component I added. So here if you add widget interaction, right, see it's right here. Um, this widget interaction will allow me to define how this uh, pawn, this third person character, is able to interact with a two-dimension widget, right? So here, by default, I think the interaction is word. Uh, if I switch to word, you can actually see, I'm just show you a little bit. You see there is a right line indicating uh, the kind of like a laser pointing to the directions uh, you can have interaction um, but I don't want to do this laser thing so I will change this from word to center screen so it's using a point in the middle to indicate the target of that laser you probably also want to ch uh, check the show debug also show the right dot for you um, you can also define the distance uh, so this won't work if it's too far away from the widget so you have to be close enough 500 units, then you see the, uh, the widget interaction. So let's play. Right, so here if I press C, you don't see the right dot, so you have to go closer enough, then you'll see it. Then you'll use mouse click, you go to second page. Click again, first page. Okay. So this is how you start with these two uh, pages, really simple. Uh, you can do more complicated interactions, maybe more buttons, you know, more pages, um, animated features. So it's really up to you. You can create this uh, really simple interaction by just adding the intersection interaction, widget interaction uh, into this. Also using the gamepad left trigger to trigger this mouse click. Uh, again, this is not the best practice. Uh, I should probably using the input mapping. But I am just want to copy you this file, so I don't want to bother to have too many files. Um, in the future, I will probably do this as a input mapping. Okay. So I did the same thing for Leo, uh, the male version. 
So you can see the same script and also the widget interaction here. Uh, you will have this file. Um, so I have on the level blueprint, I can show you. I have a simple script to swap these two characters. Uh, again, this is something you don't have to do. I would just say swap uh, avatar. Okay, I think this is would be the because you are controlling that pawn, right? So it's avatar. So you can swap avatar by pressing a key B on the keyboard. Uh, so here, if I press B, I can switch between these two, and then. Um, see C, I can switch to the first person, then I can click, all right, B, I can come back. Yeah, I think that's pretty much about the whole interactions you can do with the um, widget interaction. I hope this will be very useful. Um, in the future, if you want to use it, I will give you this, this Mixamo folder, um, which you can download, put under the content. I will also give you the menu and the movies folder. Um, you can all put them under the content. Uh, so they should be able to pick up each other. All right.